Chevron's going to be okay. I mean, you got the Royal Dutch and Total did well. The oil stocks are still, until oil goes through 50, which I don't think it will, the oil stocks are remain in purgatory. I still go back to what Paul Kibsgaard said, which is that the oils are going to start having a better year in 2018. Chevron will put a good face on it. And what about Exxon? Similar story? Exxon really is, uh, you know, they, they have a 50-year plan. They're not looking at the stock. There's this buyback stock that's kind of like a bank. Uh, and I do think that in the end, uh, Exxon is a company that is, uh, you never got hurt buying, but is not anything that I feel compelled to recommend. We continue to believe that Apache is a company that either will get bought or will start showing great earnings. They've got the lowest finding costs. Uh, Simrex is the fastest grower in the Permian. We own Magellan Midstream, which is a fan, absolutely fantastic revenue, uh, just a great income generator for an income seeker. Um, but you know what? The oils are still wrong because when oil gets to 50, our future, the future selling is humongous. We're enjoying the ride up a little bit here after suffering with the oils for action alerts. Uh, so we got Southwest is not going our way. We got Apache right now not going our way. We've got um, Simrex not going our way. We have to deal with these issues. The way I tell club members is patience, patience, patience. Remember, we have over a hundred point gain in Facebook. Why patience? We have a similar gain in Apple. Why patience? Google, Alphabet, people decided they don't like that anymore. That's an opportunity. Southwest will prove to be the same.